Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, call on La Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Harachakudash. The Bond Star Apostles, a great millstone who will the the truth. Peace, love, blessings, salutations to your occupants, part of the Bayasha, that would die the house of David. All right, so uh, just real quick through the spirit, um, I'm going to name this one. It's going to be quick. I'm on my lunch break. Um, this is the type of power we are waiting for, or this is the type of power that we will have. Okay? And, um, of course, based off of the scriptures from the spirit, all right, and uh, through the inspiration of Yahab, Bashim, Rashad, like always. All right, so uh, basically I wanted to go into this account. Uh, in Matthew's the um, eighth chapter, uh, dealing with Yahweh Shai and uh, healing, right? Because one of the things that Yahweh Shai told the disciples, let me get it real quick. Uh, Matthew's ten. Yep, uh, this is Matthew's ten and one, and um, on here it says instructions to the disciples. All right, so when. Yahweh Shai was with the disciples, man. He was giving them, he was giving them instruction, man. Okay. So it says, um, uh, Matthew's 10 and 1. And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sicknesses and manner of disease. All right. And then it goes on forth to say the names of the uh, disciples which later became apostles but as you see it says he gave them power to uh, against unclean spirits right demons on people things of that nature and other and as well as other things right um, and um, so I get it. to cast them out right and to heal all manner of sickness and manner of disease so the Lord basically gave the disciples power now the example that I want to heat out to because like Yahweh Shai said, no servant is greater than his Lord. So uh, the same power that the disciples had when you react the first chapter. Actually, let me get that real quick. Just to, you know, prove the point. Um, this is Acts chapter one, verse eight. But ye shall receive power. And this is, he's talking to the apostles. All right. After that, the Holy Spirit has come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the utter, uttermost part and that's going to happen again okay that's that's going to happen again all right because when you read through Acts you know um, uh, going through Acts uh, the, the disciples actually have power to heal all right and, and do specific things it was given to them by the Lord so it's the same thing we're going we're going to get we're just waiting on it but one of the examples of power all right uh, that I want to get as far as Yahweh Shai is in Matthew's the eighth, eighth uh, chapter. All right. So um, this Matthew's eight, and I'm gonna start at five. It says, and when Yahweh Shai was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him. And let me remind you, the power that we're gonna get in the way that people are gonna be healed is if they believe in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, they believe in Yahweh Shai. All right, and they have faith. Okay, because without faith, it is impossible to please you. How about you, shine? You know, so how much more to heal somebody or somebody get healed? Okay, but it says, um, and when Yahweh Shai was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him. And this centurion, of course, was an Israelite. All right, yes, uh, we were in a Roman uh, empire, okay, but you had Israelites, all right, that were amongst the Roman centurions. That, in a Roman army, you know, they had higher ranking in a Roman society, all right? And it says, um, and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Yahweh Shah saith unto him, I will come and heal him. And the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. That's the main thing I want to focus on. Speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. All right. And uh, it says, for I am a man under, under authority, having soldiers under me. He had rank. Okay. And I say to this man, go and he goeth into another. Come and he cometh into my servant. Do this and do it. 
and he do it them. When Yahushua heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. You see, I just said it, all right? And I say unto you that many shall come from the east, and, and, and west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven but the children of the kingdom shall be cast into the children of the kingdom shall be cast into outer darkness there shall be weeping and ashen of teeth and Yahweh Shai said unto the centurion go thy way and as thou hast believed so be it done unto thee and his servant was healed in that same self hour so through the spirit, what I'm going to focus on is that just, you know, spiritual power. Uh, there's going to be times, you know, just like we, you know, the, the worldwide, uh, the, the web or right, the Internet. OK, remember, these words are, are, are healing, man. Well, it's going to be a, a time to where even how you was shy, you know, that that man's faith was so was so uh, uh, big. OK, that. Uh, uh, the Lord didn't even have to come into his uh, his his place, all right, to touch on or heal. He just healed by the word, uh, the word. He just said it. Look, and Yahweh said unto him, "Go thy way, and thou hast believed; be it done unto thee." And that was the words, all right, that he used to heal. All right, be uh, uh, so be it done unto thee. Okay. And it says, and his servant was healed in that same self hour. So that's powerful, man. All right. And that's the type of power through the spirit of power. How about Shema Shah? All faith. All right. And these people out here, they got to have faith. They got to believe, man. All right. First and foremost in the names. And that's how that, that's how they, they're going to be healed. They have to be a believer, man. Okay. They have to be a believer. That centurion believed that Yahweh Shai was the son of the most high, the son of the heavenly father. And he believed, he believed that he could heal. He had faith. That's why Yahweh Shai said this man, there is none. Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. Right? Because if you have faith in a, in a mustard seed, you'll be able to move mountains. All right? But it's just showed me through the spirit that the word, you, you just speaking a word, man, because let me see. Revelations 11. I'm not going to make this long. It's Revelations 11 and, um, Three, and I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days, cloth and sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before Yahweh of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceeded out of their mouth and devoured them. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These have power to shut heaven, that it rained not in the days of their prophecy, and had power over waters to turn them to blood, and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. All right, because I think it was what Joshua when they were fighting um, against the Canaanites, and the Lord had um, held still the day for a numerous amount of days, man. All right. So through the Spirit, man, you know, just going into it, you know, certain things we just gonna be able to say, and it's gonna happen. All right, so let me get St. John 4 and 12, and then let me end it off with Hebrews 4, 14 and 12, so like it. It's St. John chapter 14, verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall ye do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, and that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. So that's the type of power we're going to have, man. That's the type of power we have now, just through prayer, okay? Just through prayer, but it's going to come to a time to where when, we're, when we ask the Heavenly Father and the Son for something, when we ask Yahweh Bashim Al-Shan for something, it's just going to be boom. You know, it's going to be done with light, like lightning, man. Because the words of the Heavenly Father are powerful, man. And I'm going to end it off with this. This is uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. It says, for the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful. Right? So the, the words are powerful, man. And sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the divine and asunder of the soul and the spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. 
So the words that we speak are powerful, man. And through faith, through your house, I should not shine things of that nature as examples. Remember the things that were written aforetime were written for our learning. So we have examples of, of the type of power that we're going to receive, Lord, when we be the elect in these times. When people come up to us, you know, say say we can't go to their house or something like that. You know, just like Yahweh Shai, he's the main example. He's a, uh, what does it say, the finisher of our faith, man. All right? So, Lord willing, this account through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, be edifying to the hopeful elect. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Harachakadash, the bottom star apostles, the great millstone who will wear the tell us this truth. Peace, love, blessings, salutations to you, Akim, that's part of the Bayashah, that was the house of David. Till next time, Shalom.